In today's video, I'm going to show you how to teach multi-digit multiplication using the both the Montessori checkerboard and a modified version of the Montessori checkerboard. Um, here I have a checkerboard that I made just out of construction paper. It goes from 1 to 10,000. I should say in my Montessori training, um, the checkerboard that was used went all the way up to 100,000 for the multipli multiplicands. And the multiplier here, I stopped at 100, but um, the Montessori checkerboard traditionally goes up to 1,000. So um, students can multiply really large numbers with this. Um, this is a tool that is supposed to aid in the passage to abstraction. So it's used after children have had lots of practice with the very concrete materials, such as the golden beads um, and other materials like that. So um, one thing you'll notice is um, this is in the traditional Montessori place value colors. And um, we're going to be using the colored bead bars as well. Now, um, I should mention this is made out of paper, but I've also seen some made out of felt just with the color squares, which is nice because then the beads don't have a tendency to roll as much. Okay, so we are going to be doing this problem um, 876 times 2, which I already have um, solved here using the traditional algorithm. And I just have this here so that you can see as I do the um, use the checkerboard how this works. Okay, so the first thing to tell the students is that each bead is now um, going to be um, symbolizing um, just the place value. So for example, instead of putting 800 um, golden beads here in this little square, we're going to take the eight bead bar, and because it's in the hundreds place, that symbolizes 800, okay? And instead of taking seven tens of golden beads or of base 10 blocks, we are going to take the seven bar and it's in the tens place. So that represents seven tens. So you can see how this is a little bit more abstract and it lends itself really nicely to the language that you use when you're doing this kind of math. Okay, and finally, we have six units. So we're going to take our six bar and put it in the units or the ones place. Okay, so we have 876. Now our multiplier tells us to do that two times. So we're going to build 800, seven tens, oops, six units. Okay, now the next step is to put everything together, starting with the ones place. And we have six and six. So six plus six makes 12. So we're going to exchange that. We're going to take a one and a two. So I know that the two is a little hard to see green on green, but essentially it's the same as what you would write on paper. So you have a one, in the tens place and a two in the units place. Okay, I'll put that up above and that here. And that's how it's recorded. Next, we have our two sevens. So seven and seven is 14, plus one is 15. We're going to make that exchange. I have one and I need a five. Okay, so my one goes in the hundreds place and my five goes here just as it is on paper. Okay, there we go. And the final step is to combine our hundreds. So I have eight and eight, that's 16, plus the one is 17. We're going to make that exchange. And my one goes here and my seven goes here. So we have 1,752 or 1,705 tens and one unit. I'm sorry, two units. Okay. All right. And that is how to do um, multiplication using the checkerboard. Now I told you I was going to show you a modified version if you don't have access to a checkerboard. And that is using um, this paper. 
that just has the um, it has the same color coding. So again, I would do 876, and that's times two. So I'm going to do it two times, 876. Okay. Six and six is 12. We'll make that exchange. One and two. Those twos are much easier to see. Seven and seven is 14 plus one is 15. We need to make an exchange. There's one and five. 8 and 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. We need to make an exchange, so 1 and 7. Oh, now the white's hard to see. <laughs> so our answer is 1,752. All right.